When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was delivering the message of God to the idol worshippers of Mecca, most rejected his message and did not believe him. They demanded that he show a physical sign that he was indeed a prophet of God. They wanted to see proof of his prophethood by seeing the moon split in half, something that a man cannot do without the help of God. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asked them, If I do as you've requested, would you then believe that I am a prophet sent by God and believe in the message of God? They said yes. So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asked God to split the moon as proof, and God split the moon in half and brought it back together. Unfortunately, due to the arrogance of these idol worshippers, many still did not believe in his prophethood and message. The hour of judgment is nigh, and the moon is cleft asunder. And if they behold a portent, they turn away and say, Prolonged illusion. They denied the truth and followed their own lusts. Yet everything will come to a decision. Quran, chapter 54, verse 1. Today, with modern technology, it has been proven through a picture captured by NASA that cracks line the moon's surface. NASA stated that the two sides of the moon were separate at one time and then united. How did Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, know the moon was split if this event did not occur? We have historical reports from the companions present and even reports from the enemies of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who witnessed it. We also have independent reports from people in other geographic locations, such as India, who witnessed it from their vantage points. How did the Holy Quran know, 1400 plus years ago, that the moon was split if the information did not come from God? 